Hi! In today's video, we're going to discuss topics like how does a truck scale work, and what are some of the different types of vehicle scales, and we'll do that next. Truck scales are a vital part of the logistics and trucking industries. They help calculate weights and prevent overloading. These gross weights are essential to ensure a large truck doesn't surpass its maximum capacity, and that truckers out on the road aren't exceeding the legal weight limit of their particular route. But how do these truck scale systems work? In this video, we'll explore the different components of truck scales, how they interact with each other to deliver weights, and we'll even discuss an alternative to installing a permanent truck scale. While the configuration of vehicle scales will vary, most scales will have some combination of the following parts. Weighbridge. The weighbridge is the physical structure where a truck driver pulls their tractor trailer. These are primarily constructed with a concrete or steel deck and will vary in size depending on the size of the commercial trucks driving across the weighbridge. Load cells. Load cells are the strain gauge sensors that take the weight reading. These components are generally constructed of steel. A grouping of load cells, usually between 6 and 10, is placed between the ground and the weighbridge. Once pressure is applied to the weighbridge, the load cells are compressed and each cell then sends out a signal in the form of an electrical current based on the intensity of the compression. Junction box. The junction box's primary role is to combine all the information from the load cell system so that the operator can see a single vehicle weight rather than the six to 12 weight readings from those individual load cells. There are several types of truck scales, each with its own features and functionalities that you would typically find at a commercial work site. A platform truck scale is generally a static scale weighing system where the driver pulls up a ramp onto the weigh bridge or over a built-in platform to weigh the truck. These scales can only weigh vehicles that have come to a complete stop. Many people are familiar with this type of scale as they have seen them at a farm, rock quarry, landfill, or as part of a truck weigh station along interstate highways. Axle scales are smaller, individual platforms that calculate the weight of a vehicle by driving the truck onto the scale and stopping the first axle onto the scale platforms, then pulling the next axle forward and repeating the process. This scale type is generally only used for checking weights as axle weighing accuracy tolerances are not narrow enough to meet the NTEP certification standards, defined by the National Conference on Weights and Measures. Weigh in motion is the exact opposite of a static scale. In a static scale, the truck must come to a complete stop, whereas trucks on a weigh in motion scale can keep moving at a slower speed. Both of these methods of weighing a vehicle can be utilized through an axle scale or platform scale, but in motion weighing is the most commonly achieved with axle scales. However, while weigh in motion weighing is faster, this type of weighing is less accurate than static weighing. For companies that need a scale for short-term projects or have truck weighing needs that vary throughout the year, a portable truck scale offers an ideal solution. These portable scales provide a flexible scale that adapts to various situations without compromising accuracy and functionality. For example, there are portable truck scales available that come equipped with a full portability frame. The entire structure locks down to secure the weigh bridge and the frame together for easy transport without disassembling the load cell mounts. With a portable truck scale, you can avoid the lengthy process of pouring a concrete foundation for a more permanent vehicle scale, allowing you to get the truckload weight readings you need in a greater variety of situations. If you have questions about how to choose a scale, scale installation, maintenance, or calibration, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Please visit our website, centralcarolinascale.com, to get started. Thanks for watching!